at the density of green coffee and how we kind of uh, make this assessment as coffee roasters and uh, take this information into sort of develop uh, our roast profile. Uh, what density really means in terms of green coffee is we're trying to understand uh, from a cellular level uh, how, uh, how compact is the fruit. I guess the best way I can sort of describe this to people um, is if you kind of consider that coffee ground at higher altitude um, is exposed to uh, more sunlight, uh, a lower oxygen or a lower oxygen environment. This sort of really slows down the ripening process of the coffee. Um, and so this uh, makes it, from a cellular level, more compact. So there's a lot more cells um, compacted into the fruit uh, and therefore it becomes harder and more dense. And this does relate or transfer across to uh, uh, more refined acidity uh, and so the sugar contents that we have in coffee that we sort of discussed earlier. As we move sort of lower uh, to lower altitude, uh, the density of the coffee uh, lessens or it becomes lessened in terms of uh, from a cellular structure. So therefore it, it will absorb the heat a lot quicker that we're applying uh, to the roasting process. Um, so one of the ways that we check that is that we uh, invest in a really simple little thing which we make here. And uh, here it is here. It's, a, it's actually a piece of PVC water pipe. Um, and, uh, it's quite simple. The, um, uh, you, we use the standard measurement of grams per litre, so a thousand grams per litre, uh, and this represents uh, a quarter of that sort of standard measurement. So uh, what we do is we pop the water pipe on a set of scales, we fill it up to it gets to 250 uh, grams, and then obviously we chop it up, and this represents um, the standard measurement. So all of our green coffee that comes in, uh, we we. We, wait, we fill this up level, we put it on the scales, we take that measurement and we multiply it by four to take this up to the standard measurement. And then we're looking at trying to understand how many grams a litre it is or how, how hard the fruit is. Uh, so a lot of average coffees would be about 680 grams a litre. And this is what we call sort of medium to high density coffee. Anything from 700 grams a litre above would be hard uh, density coffee. Uh, and so this helps us understand, well, how much heat do I initially I need to apply to the coffee or how little heat I need to apply to the coffee uh, if it's a, a softer coffee. Uh, a, a lot of the softer coffees uh, also are more of the new sort of exotic varietals, so a lot of the Pacamara sort of, um, uh, and Marica heaps, uh, Marica twos, these types of coffees are a little bit softer. Unique processing methods, uh, so if, you, if you're using a lot of monsoon coffees, you find a lot of the monsoon coffees are quite low as well. They'll be as low as sort of uh, 450 to 500 grams a litre. So you can see there's a big range uh, in, the, in the coffee that you buy. Uh, and so it's really important to understand at the very beginning uh, how hard is the fruit uh, and how much resistance will it have to the heat energy that we're, we're applying to the, as part of the roasting process. Uh, so altitude shouldn't necessarily always be the guiding light, but by, by having a simple practice of adopting uh, a roasted density and a green density, uh, this kind of really helps you understand as a roaster what you need to do to develop your overall strategy to roasting the coffee. I did touch on roasted density and that's something obviously we'll talk about later.